Hi there, and welcome to a bite-sized episode of Rapidly Aging Tech. Today I'm doing a uh, freehand and hopefully quick recording talking about something, well, that's going to be a bit of a uh, quick preview. Something I'm not going to cover fully, but just enough to potentially whet your appetite. Anyway, to start, um, there's a problem that some of us in the retro computing community have, and that's that we know that a real computer uses floppy drives, as the UXW will likes to say. And the problem, if, any, if you've tried to use one of these on a modern computer, is that many motherboards no longer have uh, floppy drive headers. So what do you do? Well, for the most part, there have only been a couple options. Um, one, of, one has been disassembling a USB external floppy drive and hoping that you can use its components to link up with an internal model and use it that way. Uh, or the other option has been to simply use an external uh, floppy drive just by itself. This one, maybe that's dusty, uh, happens to be a model designed to um, go into the D series of Dell laptops. Um, they had those interchangeable bays um, where you could use a CD drive, floppy drive, or whatever. Actually works really well and has a USB connector. Well, I'm here to tell you that there might be something else. Something that I've just discovered. And that is this. This promises to be a USB to floppy drive adapter. Now you'll notice that this is an external USB connector. That isn't necessarily a problem, and I'll show you why in a future video. But now I'm going to hook this thing up for the first time. I don't know if it's going to work to the, the outside of my computer, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's the drive. Here's the connector in place. As you can see, it, it should be able to deliver power to the flop, uh, to the drive itself through the USB um, power. And, well, hopefully that works. Um, the cabling is a bit well, stiff and small, so if you have an onboard um, floppy power, you may want to use that instead. But now we're going to actually see if it works. It's only on the box since uh, my computer's a bit on the tall side. So let's see. Oh, and yes, that is a rotary phone. I use a magic jack. Um, and so, yes, that works. The floppy drive activated. I heard it. All right. Sorry about the camera movements. I know that I hate um, watching videos where people move the camera around. I see floppy drive B. I hit it, have floppy drive A. All right. So now, let's put in a disc and see what we can do. Sorry about the movements again. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, I have used this floppy disk before. Windows XP can make a uh, startup disk to get your network set up um, between computers, and I have used that. Okay, we'll try a little quick format. Yes, that's fine. Um, in case you're wondering, I am running Windows 7 on my main sh machine. Plan on continuing to do that. Format complete. 
And I use classic shell because I much prefer the traditional um, start menu. I think it's a better organization system. I'll probably complain about that in another video. So now let's find something to copy over. All right. So this is a pic image file, Windows 98, and it is 1.37 megabytes. So let's copy it. And this is what I've used to test other floppy disks because it should pretty well fill them. I think this disk is in healthy shape. All right, we appear to have an image there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the disk out, put it back in, see if it's still there, and then I'll try it in the other floppy drive. I have worked with drives that have been faulty, and so they couldn't pass this test. If you get this far, if you took the disk out, put it back in, the image was then gone. But the disk would be seen as full, just unformatted. Close that. kind of wonky one-handed. Okay, disk is out. Let's put it right back in. All right, I see the image is there. Probably, it's a bit dark over in this little nook of the room. These are very good floppy drives, by the way. I've been very impressed with how well it has worked. And I have a laptop that I could go into. So that is floppy drive A. And if I try to open it, and there we go. Proof of concept. This adapter works, and I have three more of them. And I will certainly reveal the source of this in my next video. The well, next video I do with this, where I hook it up internally using adapters. Anyway, I hope you've liked this bite-sized video. Like, subscribe, and hopefully I will uh, make the next um, the sequel to this very soon. Anyway, have a nice day. Hopefully, I'll see you around the channel. Bye. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on, and he's coming out today. Now we'll all be.